As we continue discussing about threading issues, in this lecture we will be studying about thread cancellation. So we will be seeing what are the issues that we face in threading when thread cancellation is involved. So first let us try to understand what do we actually mean by thread cancellation. So thread cancellation is the task of terminating a thread before it has completed. So if a thread gets cancelled before its execution is complete, then that is known as thread cancellation. So when we say a thread is cancelled, we mean that before the thread could complete its execution, it was terminated. Now let us take some examples to understand when does thread cancellation occurs and what are the issues that we can face when thread cancellations occur. So in the first example, if multiple threads are concurrently searching through a database, and one thread returns a result, the remaining threads might be cancelled. So let us say that we have a database and we are searching through the database for a particular value or a particular result. So according to the search algorithm, many threads may be involved in searching for that particular value in that database. Now if one of the thread finds that value in the database, then we have got the result. That means we got the result that we were searching for. So the remaining threads can be cancelled or they might be cancelled because they don't need to continue searching because the result is already obtained. So that is one scenario where thread cancellations can occur. Now let's take another example. When a user presses a button on the web browser that stops a web page from loading any further, all threads loading the pages are cancelled. This is a real life example that you must have seen in your day to day life. So when you are using a web browser for surfing the internet, you know that there is a cancel button that is there in the web browser. So when a web page is loading, if you press on that cancel button, what happens is the entire web page stops loading any further. So what happens is that when you try to visit a web page, when you click on any web page, as a web page loads, there are several threads involved in loading of that web page. So when a web page loads, you know that there are so many things in that web page. The web page may contain images, it may contain text, it may contain hyperlinks, it may contain so many things. Now for loading each and every of these elements, different threads are responsible. All these threads work together and they load the entire web page. Now in the process of loading that web page, if you press the button that stops the loading of the web page, then what happens is, all the threads that were involved in loading the different elements like images or text or whatever it may be, everything will be cancelled. All those threads will be terminated before it has completed. Some might have completed or some may still be in the process of completion. It will depend upon when you press that button. So many threads may be cancelled before it completed its execution. So that is another example where we can see cancellation of threads. Now a thread that is to be cancelled is often referred to as a target thread. So whenever we use the term target thread, keep in mind that this is a thread that has to be cancelled. Now let us see what are the different types of thread cancellation that can occur or what are the different scenarios in which thread cancellations can occur and let us see which one among them is better and which one among them will provide a stable computation. So as I said, we will now see the different scenarios in which thread cancellations can occur. So here it says that cancellation of a target thread may occur in two different scenarios. And let us see what are those scenarios one by one. So the first scenario is asynchronous cancellation. So what is this asynchronous cancellation? One thread immediately terminates the target thread. So this is very straightforward and it is very direct. What happens is one thread immediately terminates the target thread. So what is a target thread? A target thread is the thread that is to be cancelled and another thread that is going to cancel that target thread immediately cancels that target thread. So this target thread is like a victim which has no power. When some other thread cancels it, it has no other choice than to be cancelled. So that is what we mean by asynchronous cancellation. Now let's look at the other scenario. Now the other scenario is known as deferred cancellation. In deferred cancellation, the target thread periodically checks whether it should terminate, allowing it an opportunity to terminate itself in an orderly fashion. So unlike the asynchronous cancellation where the target thread was immediately cancelled by another thread, in deferred cancellation what happens is that 
the target thread will periodically check whether it should terminate itself or not. So nobody can just come and terminate it immediately without its permission. So the target thread will periodically check whether it should terminate and hence that allows it an opportunity for it to terminate itself in an orderly fashion. So here we can say that the thread is having some power. It will not be cancelled directly by any other thread but it will cancel itself in an orderly fashion after making sure that it can be cancelled. So that is what we mean by deferred cancellation. So now the question arises where the difficulty with cancellation lies. We have discussed about thread cancellation and we have seen the different scenarios in which a thread can be cancelled but the question is where is the difficulty with cancellation? What is the problem or issue that we face with thread cancellation? So let's take a look into that. So here is where the difficulty lies. In situations where resources have been allocated to a cancelled thread. That means a thread was under execution and it was allocated certain resources of our system because threads may require different resources and resources are allocated to the threads. So when a thread is holding some resources and it gets cancelled, then there could be a problem. So we will see what is that problem. But before that, let us look at the second point also. So it says a thread is cancelled while in the midst of updating data it is sharing with other threads. So this is again a serious problem. So there may be data that is shared between different threads. So different threads can be writing or updating into that shared region of data. Now when a thread is updating that shared data, if it gets cancelled in the midst of that updation, then it could be a problem. Because when it is updating something and it gets cancelled, then that updation was not complete and it becomes a incomplete data. And then when other threads are going to share that, they may be reading some incomplete data from there. So that is a situation where the difficulty of cancellation lies. Now let us come back to the first point. Here I said resources have been allocated to a cancel thread. So what is the problem with this? So the thing is that when resources are allocated to a thread, often the operating system will reclaim the system resources from a cancel thread but will not reclaim all the resources. So when a thread is allocated resources and if it gets cancelled then the OS will by default reclaim the system resources from that cancel thread but in some cases it may not be able to reclaim all the resources. So cancelling a thread asynchronously may not free a necessary system wide resource. So we already discussed about asynchronous cancellation that is when a thread is immediately cancelled by some other thread without any further notice. That cancel thread or the target thread may be holding some necessary system wide resource. Now only when the thread completes its execution it will release that resource. But before it completes its execution while it is still holding that resource if it gets asynchronously cancelled it has no option than being cancelled and it may not actually release that resource and hence that resource may become unavailable. So that is one problem that we have with asynchronous cancellation. But in most cases the OS will reclaim the system resources from a cancel thread but in some cases it may not be able to do so. So in those cases asynchronous cancellation is not a very good technique. So what is the other technique that we have? It is deferred cancellation. So with deferred cancellation one thread indicates that a target thread is to be cancelled but cancellation occurs only after the target thread has checked a flag to determine if it should be cancelled or not. This allows a thread to check whether it should be cancelled at a point when it can be cancelled safely. So this is a much safer and a much better way of cancellation. Instead of directly going and cancelling a thread immediately as in the case of asynchronous cancellation, with deferred cancellation what happens is when one thread that is a target thread has to be cancelled, the thread that is going to cancel it will indicate that this target thread has to be cancelled. But will it be cancelled immediately? No. The cancellation will occur only after the target thread has checked itself and has determined that it is in a position to be cancelled. So if it is holding some system wide resource or if it is in some critical situation where it is not safe to be cancelled then it will not be cancelled. The thread has the power to defer the cancellation. So it will only cancel at a point when it can be cancelled safely. So that is the better way of thread cancellation that we have which is deferred 
cancellation. So we see that the issue that we face in thread cancellation and we saw the two scenarios in which it can be cancelled and we see that most of the problem in threading issues that is faced due to thread cancellation can be solved if we adopt this deferred cancellation technique. So I hope this lecture about thread cancellation which leads to threading issues was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.